Welcome back to Better Life, Better Business with local business coach and time management expert, Christoph Nauer of Balance Six. I'm your host, Rebecca Troxel, founder and CEO of Rebecca's Vault. Christoph, you picked a great topic for us to discuss today, the importance of planning. And I personally love planning. The only problem is, is that I also seem to have a gold medal in procrastination lately. And now that's not my typical MO at all. So what would the reason be behind procrastination and lack of motivation? Uh, well, you're not alone. So, you know, hopefully that'll put you at ease a little bit. Um, so key components that lead to that are vagueness, confusion, and fuzzy mindedness. You know, if we are like that about what we are trying to do and in what order and for what reason, that really is the main reason why people procrastinate. Mm -hmm. As such, we must avoid being vague, confused, or fuzzy minded. And this usually happens when we don't have a plan and when we don't have clarity on where we want to go. And we did talk about that in a previous vodcast. Yes. I'm sure you're familiar with the question, how do you eat an elephant? Oh, yes. One bite at a time. But what does that have to do with planning? All right. So I'm suggesting to apply this rule to your big, challenging, overwhelming tasks. Hmm. Break them down into specific step-by-step -step activities, and then you start on the first one. Our mind and ability to think organize, structure, and plan are our most powerful tools to overcome procrastination, which is what we usually do when we have a huge challenging task to get done. Mm -hmm. Just the thought of doing it is so overwhelming that we procrastinate. Yep. We're overwhelmed mm -hmm. and don't even create a plan. So our ability to set goals which we discussed in a previous episode, plan and take action hugely influences the course of our lives. So the ability to plan before we act is really a measure of our overall competence. Hmm. The better and detailed the plan, the easier it is to overcome procrastination and take action. Okay, so I have heard you say before that Every minute of planning saves, um, and or every minute of planning saves what ten minutes in execution. That doesn't really sound difficult at all. Yes, that is so true. Um, in other, another way to put this is, if you spend ten minutes planning your day, mm -hmm. you can actually save almost two hours in execution. Hmm. Wow. Uh, that's kind of crazy. If, if this were the case, why aren't more people doing it? It doesn't sound like this is difficult at all. You're right. You know, I have asking myself that question all the time. Planning is really not that difficult. It's, you know, the old fashioned way. It only takes a pen and paper. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're you know, in a younger generation like you, Rebecca, it's probably a Word document on a computer. So all you need is really take 10 to 15 minutes on your calendar for planning and stick with it. And you will see amazing results. Okay. How many times have you heard me say, who do you know who would like to have an extra hour or two a day? Right? Yep. Well, now wow. you know how. Two extra hours a day is what you get when you practice this and are working from a list. Always work from a list. Mm -hmm. if something new comes up, add it before doing it. Doing this will increase your productivity by 25% or more. Just about the two hours that we were talking about. Yep. From the moment you start consistently working from a list, you will see that kind of improvement. That is true. I personally have been making a really consorted effort the last couple of weeks, and I've been sticking to that very method with your help, of course. And just this week has been the most hectic week for Rebecca's Vault yet. But every single evening, I can sit and spend some time with my husband at the end of the day, and it makes me feel like I'm in control. I remember that I can handle anything that gets thrown at me, and that really just 
it just makes a person feel great about themselves at the end of the day. And it's silly, but I really do feel successful. That's wonderful. And I'm so glad to hear that because that's really what you want to feel like at the end of the day. You know, oh, yeah. feel a sense of control and a sense of accomplishment, you know, yep. and that's ultimately leads to peace of mind. Yeah. You know, so you are absolutely right that those are the feel that these are the feelings that ex, uh, clients who apply that experience. When you start practicing this, you will have the same sense of accomplishment that Rebecca just mentioned to you. Yeah. So when you have a project, do make a plan for it. Make a list of every step is that's needed, then organize those steps by priority. Lay out your project on a paper or on a computer document so mm -hmm. that you can see every step. And then, like we talked about the elephant, work mm -hmm. one step at a time. So when you plan each day in advance, you will find it much easier to get going and to keep going. So you have a, like a GPS for the day. So when you start the day, you just look and see exactly what your day is gonna look like, what comes first, second, and so forth. The work will go faster and smoother than ever before. You will feel more powerful and competent and you will get more done faster than you thought possible. And eventually, you will become unstoppable. That sounds like a much better way to go about your week. As always, Christoph, thank you so much for the valuable information. I know this was helpful to me and it's something that I appreciate your, hide, your help and your guidance with as well. If you or someone you know could use some help and guidance with this, Christoph offers his audience a complimentary business breakthrough session during which you will learn how he can help you double your productivity, profits, and time off. All you have to do is go to balance6.biz to sign up for your time with Christoph. That's all for today. We'll see you next week for another information-packed episode of Better Life, Better Business. This week's episode of Better Life, Better Business is brought to you by CANC Video Productions. Since 1985, CANC Video has been providing live streaming, event production, and analog to digital transfer services. They capture those life-changing moments, preserving your history for current and future generations. Because your history matters. Visit their website at cacvideo.com. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. That's all for now. Thanks for listening to another episode of Better Life, Better Business with business and time management coach Christoph Nauer with Balance 6, the leading business and time management company in Northern California. Visit them at balance6.biz.